We are in the beginning days of the streaming wars. For a long time, Netflix had the entire playground to itself. Amazon Video came around. There were other services like Crack or whatever, but now we've got like HBO Max. We've got Peacock. Good service. I just still hate saying the name. Uh, we, of course, have Disney Plus, which just did a big thing. The, the streaming wars have begun. Now, one of the hallmarks of Netflix, one of their most consistently popular shows the whole time they have been on is The Office. Now, we knew for some time that The Office was going to be departing Netflix and going to its real true home over on NBC Universal's Peacock Network. It's just been now made. It's official now. It's completely official. Netflix itself has notified its its uh, subscribers that on its comings and goings, December 31st is going to be the final day that you'll be able to find The Office on Netflix. And I thought it was worth bringing this up because everybody knows that The Office is a popular show on Netflix, right? Everybody knows that it's popular. Sure. I don't think people fully understand just how popular and important The Office has been to Netflix because, you know, we live in a world where they put up this great, you know, limited series Queen's Gambit, which I'm sure is going to win some em Emmys, or they put up this movie of the month, or they put up this hot series of the month and, you know, they climb to the top of the charts on Netflix. But always just below those flavor of the month movies and shows they put up is in their top lists is always The Office. Here's the thing, though. Queen's Gambit is not their number one thing anymore. You know, Queen's Gambit comes and goes. Their movie of the month comes and goes. Their hot new series comes and goes. But The Office is always there at, at or near the very top of the viewership habits of the people who watch Netflix. It leaving could have some real repercussions. Now, first of all, The Office moving over to Peacock is sure to be a big boon for Peacock. Like if, if there are probably a lot of people that still haven't checked out Peacock. I was very dubious of it just because of the name. I shouldn't have been just because of the name. I still hate the name. But you know what? I signed up for Peacock when my wife, Anne, expressed that she was interested in checking out my all-time favorite show, Battlestar Galactica. It's on Peacock. Signed it up. And you know what? It's a good service. Peacock's a good service. But now the office moving over there obviously is going to be a big bolster to Peacock, for sure. That's, that's going to be a, a, a nice feather in their cap, per se. Will it hurt Netflix? I don't know. I mean, they lost Friends, right? When Friends went over to HBO Max, that was another big performer for them. But now they're losing The Office. And I can't help but wonder if The Office, which is to a lot of people I know who use Netflix, something they watch every day. Like without, and I'm sure you do too. I am absolutely sure you know some people who are friends of yours that have Netflix, who literally will watch an episode or two of The Office every single day. And I cannot help but wonder if this might cause some kind of migration. I'm not saying it will, but when you have a show that that's, that's that important, even on a, a platform like Netflix that has a billion pieces of content, I wonder how big the impact will be. Again, I'm not making any predictions. I'm just saying it makes me wonder. Anyway, guys, question is, what do you think about this? It's 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 official. We've known for a while, but now Netflix is even saying December 31st, the office is gone. How big of an impact do you think it's going to have? Is it going to affect your viewing habits of Netflix? Will it cause you to try out this Peacock service? I still hate saying the name. If you have not checked it out already, what do you guys think? Jump down into the comment section below and let me know your thoughts.